Today we're making a video I cannot believe we have never made. I thought we made every keg raider video imaginable. How to make a keg raider, how to take apart and clear beer faucets, how to keg beer, and what to buy. And the one video that pretty much created this channel. How to force carbonate. How to force carbonate? Corny keg. How to force carbonate a corny keg. But we missed the most important video of all of them. How to clean beer lines. Because your beer is only as good as your beer lines. Today, me and you, we're gonna go ahead and cover a few things because we're not going anywhere. I have nowhere to go. Somebody invite me somewhere. When to clean your beer lines, what you're gonna wanna buy, and how to clean your beer lines without ending up with something like this. And if you make it to the end of this video, we're gonna compare and contrast the two greatest artists of our generation, Lisa Ann and Puma Sweet. What is going on guys? It is CH from Homebrew for Life. We've been away for a little bit. We've been away for a little bit, but what we haven't been away from is our new channel called The Hoppy Hour. Every Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We talk about everything beer related. Sometimes we have guests on, sometimes we don't. Okay, so cleaning beer lines. There's a lot of ways to do it, but this is the best and most affordable way. Ever been to a bar, walked into your favorite dive bar after a hard day of work, just busted your ass for eight hours, sat down, ordered your favorite beer, but it just came out tasting off? You know, I guarantee you that the reason that beer was off is because that dive bar hasn't cleaned their beer lines, like 90% of most dive bars and restaurants. But first, let's take a lesson in safety. Caustic, what is it? Is it an element? Is it a mineral? What the heck does it mean? It's a synonym for caustic soda, AKA sodium hydroxide. See, bases are the chemical opposite of acids, and bases with really high pH levels are referred to as caustic in the chemistry and cleaning supplies world. When I think of caustic, I'm thinking of like 12.5 to 14 pH levels. Bleach, liquid drain cleaner, lye, bathtub tile cleaner, ammonia. This. This is pH. This is water soluble. This is what dissolves in water. Zero to 14 with seven in the middle. Zero, you got your battery acid over here, lime, vinegar, lemon juice, kettle sours. Seven is neutral, but this shit over here, I think is even gnarlier. When you're talking heavy duty cleaning supplies, you're talking about stuff that's either closer to 14 or closer to zero. And that 14 and that zero, when they come full circle, it's gonna burn the shit out of you. It's gonna burn the shit out of your, your skin, epidermis tissue. And what we're using today to clean our beer lines, it's a caustic, but it goes both ways. Remember your grandmother back in the day, cleaning with vinegar or lemon juice? That's cleaning with acid. Star sand, phosphoric acid. Real quick, the ratio, uh, what's star sand? One ounce to five gallons water. Your pH is like just under three, 2.9. But today we're dealing with stuff that's gonna have a pH of about 13.5. So let's talk about what we need to deal with this stuff. Beer line cleaner. Five Star has these in gallon sizes for commercial breweries, but fortunately for home brewers, they offer four ounces and 32 ounce sizes. This is the four ounce one right here. There's a few different brands, but I've been using Five Star since day one and their cleaner is the most affordable. I have a link to the four ounce bottle in the description of this video. PVC gloves. Do not use latex because they are too short. PVC gauntlet length gloves. Any Home Depot or Lowe's will have these about $9 on Amazon. Zelda would be proud. Safety goggles. I use the 3M ones. I'm a big fan of 3M. Call it $4. If you don't have these, at least use something. Sunglasses, a welding visor, snowboarding goggles, anything. Vinegar, just in case something goes south. Uncle Durden taught us this trick. I know you've seen the movie. You can use orange juice or kettle sour to neutralize a potential chemical burn, but I don't have orange juice and I'd rather just burn to death than waste my sour beer. So let's go with vinegar or star sand mixture. Prep a bucket of star sand mixture anytime you're dealing with caustics. A container. Now homebrewers, we have an advantage to this because we have corny kegs. We don't have to buy anything. But if you have a commercial keg and you need a container, and if you have a small keg raider, pick up one of these pump containers. They're about $25 at your local homebrew store or snag it on Amazon. Most breweries are gonna have something like this though. 
cleaning kegs. Kind of looks like a corny keg, but it's a cleaning keg. You connect two to four lines at the same time to speed up the process. Link in bio. All right, put on your goggles and gloves and grab a clean corny keg. Our ratio is a little bit different than the one ounce to five gallons of water for star sand. This stuff is half ounce to one gallon. And I do one gallon per 10 feet of beer line. And this keg grater has two 10 feet beer lines. So we're gonna need two gallons of water and one ounce beer line cleaner. And I wanna be on the clock with this stuff. I do not recommend leaving this stuff in a corny keg overnight. I can do this in about 20 minutes but don't rush it. Give yourself 45 minutes to an hour for your first time. Again, I repeat, do not let this sit in a corny keg overnight. Real important, kill the CO2 tank and release all the pressure until you're ready to go. Connect one gas line. One gas line is all you need. Turn your CO2 tank back on and run the cleaner through the lines. So I run the cleaner through the lines to clear everything out and then I'll turn the faucet off and I'll let the caustic sit in each line for about five to seven minutes. After about seven minutes, I'll run a whole gallon through and I don't really measure this out, I mostly just eyeball it. Same as the next line, clear the line, let it sit in the line for about seven minutes. No biggie on that, you wanna do 10 or 15 minutes, live your life. And then I hit the faucet on until the one gallon of water and caustic just kicks like a beer. Most importantly, do not dump this stuff on your lawn or your garden. Pour it down the drain and then run water. Turn the shower on, let it run for a minute. Let's take our corny keg and our bucket, what we just used, and fill it up with five gallons of water. And let's just disperse it through our beer lines to rinse it out. I have two lines, so let's give or take 2.5 gallons of water through each beer line. And that's it. It's as easy as that. 